If you have seen even a glimpse of anything in the Silent Hill universe, I'm sure you're aware of the creepy nurses in this series. But why are they the most consistent monster in Silent Hill, with only subtle changes between each game like new weapons, nurses caps, and amazing tits? It's often unclear why these monsters are a staple of the series. I mean, they are seen in Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, Origins, Homecoming, the arcade book of memories, movies and comics, surely there's a reason why they appear so much. This is the history of Silent Hill nurses. Our story begins with Dahlia Gillespie, who is the member of a secret cult in Silent Hill known as the Order. I have mentioned the Order a few times on this channel, they are a sadistic group who look to enforce a religion to those in Silent Hill and punish those who don't follow it. One aim of this cult is to birth a new god, who is said to bring a new paradise and rid the world of all pain, suffering and those who don't believe in the religion. But how do the Order birth this new god? Well, Dahlia has a daughter called Alyssa. Alyssa has been forced to read the Order's scriptures and follow their religion since birth. As you can imagine, her childhood was incredibly dark and violent given the powers and sadistic nature of the Order, along with being known in the town as the daughter of a witch, but also because she was chosen as the one to birth this new god. Dahlia chose her daughter as the sacrifice to birth this god and she even went as far as to try ancient rituals in her own home to force this birth. However, Alyssa channeled her abilities within the Order's religion to split her soul in half so the ritual was never properly completed. This means Alyssa had to experience the extreme torturous ritual, but the rebirth was incomplete and lost in another entity. To the public eye, Alyssa was thought to have died in a house fire and was declared a saint by the Order, as the Mother of God. However, in reality, Alyssa was transported to Al Camilla Hospital and was kept in the basement by Dahlia and the director of the hospital, Dr. Michael Kaufman. Dr. Kaufman had an alliance with Dahlia centered around drugs and so Dahlia trusted him to keep her daughter a secret. Dahlia, Dr. Kaufman, and only a few members of the Order knew that Alyssa was still alive after the ritual. Confined to the hospital's basement, Alyssa is given hallucinogenic drugs, further intensifying her torment. But there seems to be no end to her suffering. Her ability to not die is given by the incomplete rituals which have protected her as the mother of God, despite not even birthing the God. There was just one other person who knew Alyssa was still alive, and this was a young nurse named Lisa Garland. Lisa had to watch over Alyssa in the hospital and try to reduce her suffering. In return, she was given drugs by Dr. Kaufman. Every day, Lisa would have to remove bandages, clean up burns and infections, stop her pains and supply Alyssa with drugs. Alyssa would see Lisa every single day. And so, Lisa became a main character in her life, or rather, her nightmare. The world of Silent Hill is influenced by Alyssa's nightmare, as her failed ritual had cursed Silent Hill and created all manifestations within. These are manifestations of Alyssa's history of sacrifice, her fears, school bullies and of course, the nurses at the hospital who seemed to be working with the Order. This meant that Silent Hill became populated with cursed nurses that would roam the hospital. They are all manifestations of Alyssa's nightmare. In the Origins timeline, this is after we meet Travis Grady, who is a truck driver that has expressed difficulty in finding the right women, due to his job which is time consuming and lonely. Travis also has a traumatic childhood and doesn't seem to be the most sociable person. This mix of social anxiety and unfamiliarity with talking to women helps to manifest the perfect nightmare for Travis as he heads through Silent Hill. During his time searching Silent Hill Hospital, Travis finds nurses that are revealing which seem to play into his anxiety around women. These nurses also tend to jitter and jolt, possibly symbolizing how Travis fumbles the bag with women and is unsociable. The representation of nurses is thanks to Alyssa's nightmare, but this specific appearance is due to Travis's own personal fears. Some years later, Harry Mason visits Silent Hill after crashing his car and losing his daughter Cheryl. He finds himself a part of Alyssa's nightmare as Cheryl seems to be valuable to the Order, but we'll discuss more of that later. In search for his daughter, he enters Alcamilla Hospital, which is where he finds otherworldly creatures like the nurses Alyssa had manifested. These nurses are often seen as women in blue or green cardigans and white blouses with matching skirts. 
We also see them controlled by parasites, which give them a humpback appearance. This is the first time we see nurses in Silent Hill, but this isn't the only time they appear. In the 1980s, James Sunderland receives a letter from his dead wife Mary. She calls for him to return to their special place, despite dying from a chronic illness three years prior. In his desperation and depressive state, he looks for Mary in Silent Hill. Silent Hill was once a popular tourist destination which James and Mary would visit. Even during Mary's illness, they would come to this town. Throughout James's journey in Silent Hill, he is reminded of his past visits to the foggy town, his life without Mary, and the guilt and depression that he felt when she was ill. James sees Silent Hill as a mirror for his own trauma, rather than someone else's. He finds Pyramid Head, for example, who was a manifestation of James's guilt and inner torment, represented as an executioner James once saw in a painting. I have another video on the history of Pyramid Head should you want to watch that next. Another example of James's manifestation is of course nurses. During James's visits to the hospital to see Mary, he was given bad news by doctors and nurses, and so these are characters that haunt him as they are the personification of bad news. For James, these nurses are much more revealing than Alyssa's nightmare as they represent something completely different. During Mary's illness, James had sexual deprivation and anxiety that drove him to guilt. This emotion is manifested in the nurse's appearance, as they are much more revealing. You may be wondering why these nurses have a covered, suffocated bubble head. Well, in James's relived experience of trauma during his visit through Silent Hill, he uncovers some suppressed memories. Not only does he remind himself that Mary is dead, but he finds an old tape which plays some of the deeper memories he hasn't really acknowledged or accepted. In this old tape, James acknowledged that during Mary's illness, he suffocated her with a pillow, killing her and ending her suffering, but of course, making his guilt even worse. This traumatic decision is represented in the nurse's appearance, as their faces are also covered by fabric with their breathing obstructed. Silent Hill and the manifestations within change from an individual's mind to Alyssa's, depending on who visits the town and when they do. For example, in 2003, Heather Mason visits Silent Hill to stop the order and uncover secrets of her own past, after her father, Harry Mason, is murdered by one of the cult's members. You may remember earlier I said that Alyssa split her soul into two, and the other half went into another entity. This entity is Heather. Heather is Harry's daughter, the same daughter he was searching for in Silent Hill, previously known as Cheryl. Heather is the reincarnation of both Cheryl and Alyssa, and so she has foggy memories of both individuals. These memories of her previous life haunt her as she visits Silent Hill, although sometimes a lot of the manifestations aren't clear. They might be nightmares she can't fully recall. As the reincarnation of Alyssa, nurses reappear during her visit through Silent Hill, specifically when she visits the hospital. These nurses look rather normal, although they do cough up blood or feed on bloody carcasses. This could represent the physical changes Heather has been through and is going through, but it may also be foreshadowing the birth of the new god, the same god promised by the incomplete rituals. Even after this god is out of the picture, this isn't the last time we see nurses in Silent Hill. In October 2007, Alex Shepard returns to Shepherd's Glen, a town that neighbours Silent Hill. He was sent to a mental hospital after a fatal accident on Toluca Lake involving his brother. Alex would lose his mind after this accident, and so he is institutionalised to suppress the memories of that horrific night. He was brainwashed at the mental hospital to believe he was in the war, that he lived another life that was never even in the hospital. To the extent where his dad lends him his past military dog tags and jacket to reinforce these fake memories. Alex's experience with the curse of Silent Hill, and subsequently the same curse over Shepherd's Glen, is random fragments of thought and memory that are a mix of reality and his brainwashed past. He can often hear gunfire and war, although he was never even in the military. He relives the nightmare of his brother's death, although he can't even remember it, along with the creatures and beings within the town. He sees nurses, for example, which are a mixed creation of his false military past and his time in the mental hospital. 
It makes sense that Alex saw nurses a lot during his time at the hospital, but how did they become a part of his false military narrative? Well, in his diary it says that the one thing that made the living conditions of the military bearable was the nurses. They have these pristine white uniforms cut right above the knee, their breasts spilling out from their shirts. Look, I don't want to sound like a dirtbag or anything, I'm just saying I appreciate the military providing us with the one thing to brighten our days. Maybe it's sort of like payback for getting us stuck in this place to begin with. I don't know. All I can say is, thank you. The nurses in Alex's brainwashed military experience were over-sexualized, possibly reinforced by the fact that he couldn't have sex in reality, and so he manifests nurses from his real experience with over-sexualized features and purpose from his fake memories. This representation of nurses is likely the one most people recognize, as we see this version of nurses in a lot of Western media, including films, some comics, and other Silent Hill titles. The appearance of nurses in the Silent Hill universe doesn't stop there. Hospital trauma, mental health, the manifestation of fear and guilt, these are recurring characteristics of those who visit Silent Hill, along with being a primary nightmare for Alyssa. So it's no wonder that nurses are a prominent figure in this foggy town. They are an integral part to most of the characters' experience in Silent Hill. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Silent Hill content.